Hello everyone and welcome to AC Mystery and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks that work in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So the first trick that we have is actually inside of the Nook's Cranny and have you ever gone in here and you're doing some shopping and you found it really annoying that Timmy and Tommy kept following you around everywhere? Well, here's something that you can do to fix that so then they won't follow you anymore. So you're going to just try to push them over, which can get a little bit difficult because you have to get them both up there at the same time. I found that out after a few of the, like, these tries because they just like to follow each other and you. So you got to get them both up there. And as you can tell, they kept going down the stairs. Press them against the wall and it's like a magnet from their tails or something. I don't even know. But after that, they're basically stuck up there until, you know, you leave and go back into the next granny. See, like, you can go in and buy items without them following you around. Okay, so the next tip that we have for you is actually really useful, but I never knew about it until I came across this video on it. I honestly wish I knew about it sooner so then I could have done it when I needed to like build items with resources or even get like the nook's cranny upgraded back when I first started the island. So what you're going to want to do for this is make sure there's nothing around your rocks, no weeds or flowers or any items of some sort because those will just end up collecting the resources that you're supposed to get from the rock. From there you're going to like... You're gonna go to the corner of the rock and then dig directly up from there and then to the side that's open. You're gonna go in that little space that you created and just hit the rock until all the items are there. So basically what the, like the little holes are doing are making sure that there's enough space from where you're standing for you to collect all eight items. You can do this with money rocks and also resource rocks. So the next tip that I'm going to be showing you is how to place an item in the center of any table. So what you're going to need to do for this is have the terraforming option unlocked and from there you're going to want to make a platform that is I think 3 by 4 and then from there you're going to watch me struggle <laughs> with my drift for a little bit. This is probably a lot easier to do if you don't have a drift with your remote. Alright, then now that we got that done, you're going to make sure you round one of the edges and from there you're going to go onto the platform and place the table onto it also. This only works with like platforms that are like higher than one, so on the second or the third layer of terraforming. It is, unfortunately does not work on the first thing because you need to be able to climb on top of it. After you have the table placed, you're going to want to place the puzzle as well, but you want to make sure you can get it as close as you can to the corner, which has actually took me a lot longer than I thought it would, but you know what, after a while it will eventually happen, so if you're struggling like me, just keep going and you'll eventually get it in the right spot. Alright, and then after you got it in the right spot, you're going to climb directly onto it, and then it should glitch you into the table. Which is actually kind of the easy part, but the hard part about this is actually trying to get it into the middle. I thought this would take me like one try, but it ended up taking me like 14, which is kind of crazy and it sounds really sad, but it's the truth. After, I would say, maybe just a few tries, I know I said 14, but I guess it was probably only like 7. I was basically done, like I was g about to give up and then I was like, you know what Sarah, if you can do this, then we'll keep it in the video. If you can't, then we're just going to give up. Even though a few seconds earlier I told her not to give up when I got the puzzle done. So this is her attempt at it and if she does actually get it in the right spot, then we'll keep it in. Alright, so 
because she was actually able to place it in there, which I was really surprised that it only took her one try, even though it took me like many. But that just goes to show you that, you know, just keep going, even if it's gonna take a while. All right, and for our fourth and final tip or trick in this video, we are going to be showing you how to get a lot of bells without using any cheats of some sort, like time traveling or any other type of glitches and stuff like that. So what you're gonna need for this is only a wetsuit, which is actually really good. And also you need to have your pockets cleared out, which this is probably going to be one of the only times anyone ever sees my pockets clean, which is kind of sad at the same time. But why you want your pockets clean for this is just so you can collect more sea creatures as you're going. But if you do have full pockets like me, it might take a while unless you have other storage places like you know in your house like a normal person but for some reason I don't want to upgrade my house so this is what I'm doing just messing up my island but you know what that's okay after you get your pockets cleaned you're gonna want to go into the ocean and basically from there you're just going to you know do some DC creature diving which is actually relaxing for some reason so what you can do while you're doing this because it does take a little bit of time, I would say like 15 to 20 minutes. You could put on some YouTube, you can put on a movie, you could do like so many other stuff while you're doing this. It really helps me with my non-cheat island that I'm doing because it allows me to get quite a few bells and while I'm, you know, watching other streams and stuff like that. Alright, and like I said, it only takes around like 10 to 15 minutes to get a full batch of pockets. After that, you're going to want to go in the Nook's Granny, preferably when it's actually open instead of the drop-off box. Then you can get a little bit more bells because the drop-off box does take away just a little bit. But if you're really trying to get some, then it really does help. And after you, you know, select all of them and sell them, then you should actually get you know, a pretty decent amount of bells for the amount of time that you spent getting them. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you made it to the end of this video, comment the word turtle so we can confuse the others who didn't make it to the end. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and this is going to be AC Mystery signing out.